Hey everybody, I'm back. It's uh, Thursday and ready for a shave. This will be super quick because once again I'm only going to do one pass. Um, as you can see my skin seems to be doing okay. I still got a little bit of stuff here, but it's healed for the most part. I got this one little spot on the chin here, but otherwise there's red little spots that are that were sores or whatever you want to call it before. So I'm going once again with stuff that I know um, has great face feel, good performance. Um, it'll be gentle on my skin. So I'm using the Icoloniali, the Terracotta, the Shave Tank uh, gifted me this, which was awesome. Um, I'm going with, even though I think the Antisol would scent-wise go better, I'm using the Plastic by Mirasol as the aftershave. I just really, uh, the face feel out one just a little bit better to me. Now, before I leave the house, I will throw on Malpais. Can't really see it too well out the window, but it's kind of uh, dreary today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So, kind of got that feel today, the little leathery kind of, uh, yeah, perfect little false scent kind of thing. I'm going to use my ATTS-1 again, same blade. And then I'm going to face lather, but I'm going to use my Nathan Clark Ubersoft Slimer Brush. It's got more backbone than a Plasson. I almost grabbed the Plasson, um, but I honestly just, there's really no comparison I just like this brush much better and it is a harder soap so I do want a little bit more of that backbone or as some people like to call it with uh, synthetic springiness um, I still think it has backbone but I understand what they mean by spring so I'll probably end up overloading the soap because I'm only doing one pass but uh, just so used to loading a lot but yeah, I wanted to step up face lather day but like I said I was gonna um, part of me was gonna use the fat today but then my favorite brush to use with the fat is this guy right here, my Nathan Clark 30 millimeter Envy White Knot. But that's got a lot of backbone and still ends up being, you know, has some softness to it, but it's, a, it's got like boar brush backbone. And I didn't really want to put my face through that yet. So I'm just kind of easing back in, being smart about it. That should be plenty for one pass. The only issue I had yesterday with the shave was on the back of my head. I had, uh, as I was outside at work, getting sweaty out on the flight line, um, some of the, uh, the sweat was stinging the back of my neck. And this is kind of, I'll take a point real quick of well, I think it's important, like this scent may not be my favorite. Mitchell's Wolf Fat scent lines may not be the best, you know. I know some people really dig it. The scent of Mitchell's Wolf Fat is just it's there. It's really, you know, nothing special. This, it's nothing special once again. It's nice, but it's not one that I would keep in my den for scent-wise. Um, but performance-wise, it's fantastic. And it's, when you're having moments like I am, where the number one thing is to make sure I get an extremely good face feel, treat my face right, and get a good shave. You can put scent aside a little bit and, you know, just kind of uh, to have a soap or two like that in your den. Let's see, a nice little lather there. Nice sheen to it. You can see I have plenty left in the brush. But I just think it's nice to have a couple soaps in there that you know the way they're going to be, the qualities that they have, not just based on scent, but by performance. And once again, this isn't a bad scent at all. It's very nice. But And you can see right where that little spot is, it's kind of poking through. So I'm just going to be very gentle around there. Just make sure I only go over that spot once. I 
But I was really impressed yesterday how well this razor did on a one pass shave. Yeah, it's not, uh, I have more hair today than I normally would have. You know, I think I'm going to do a two pass, but I'm going to go in the same direction. See if that uh, gets it just a little bit better. Like I said, I did very good yesterday, especially with the amount of growth I have. But honestly, I just want to shave a little bit more, but I don't. I want to be smart about it. So I figure that same direction shouldn't be a problem. It might get a little bit of hair. Just a little killer brush there, perfect for travel, and the knot is just it's awesome. So like I said, it's extremely hard soap, and it uh, handled it very well. I guess I kind of want an angle there, but... Very nice shave. So this stuff works really, really good. See it lathered up extremely easy. Especially for being a hard puck. By doing a second pass, it did allow me to get my neck, which my neck wasn't interfered with, with the whole Infection or whatever it was But it just gave me a little bit of better quality on the neck yesterday I was a little lacking All right, you can see once again very nice shave one pass Well two pass excuse me no real direction change, a slight little angle to it. The mirror saw plastic. Got alcohol, got menthol. Got about other, a couple other ingredients to it. But this stuff, makes my, the way it makes my face feel afterwards is extremely nice. That's that. I'm gonna pull out of the knot real quick. And obviously this could be hydrated more to make it go longer. Actually, maybe not. It's actually pretty well hydrated. But, see, there's still plenty in there. And for a super soft brush, to load that quick off of an extremely hard puck, I'm always pleased with that. And then, like I said, I'm going to use Mel Pais when I leave here in about an hour, hour and a half. I'll leave the house. I'll let this stuff go. I might actually put another coat on, too, a little bit later. But that's all I got, everybody, real quick. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful day. God bless. It's good to be back. It's good to be back shaving. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. See you tomorrow, hopefully.